Good morning, dear friends. Welcome to Chaotic Peace Expression. It's going to be about a straight pour on this 14 by 14 canvas. And this is part of my new jewel and or gem uh, series. And the star of the show today is going to be this beautiful green color, emerald green I wanted. I didn't have, I wanted to use the extreme sheen, but I didn't have it. So I made my own green by um, mixing up Artist Love's of Philo Cyanine Green, I hope I pronounced that right, along with the Artist Love Metallic Leaf Green. So I mixed them together to get this beautiful emerald green color. I had mixed it with Floetrol, two and a half to one the night before, and so I found it a bit thick, so then I thinned it down with the solution of 90% water and 10% Floetrol. And now the second color is this beautiful Americana Decor 24 karat gold. I'm loving this gold and I think I'm gonna run out pretty soon. And the third color that I used was this black Artist Loft, which I have mixed a little bit with Volgar Sequin Metallic Black. So I'm going to use an eight and a half ounce cup to layer my paints. This is a 14 by 14, so I only need about six to seven ounces. So the eight and a half ounce cup should be a good size. So I'm going to let you guys enjoy my layering here. The music that was playing was one of my favorite melodies. I hope you guys didn't mind me playing some music. I know some people don't really care for it, but when I watch videos, I don't mind it. And actually it suits me, especially when I play back my own videos. So um, I decided to include it. So here I did the puddle and I'm doing the straight pour into it. Extremely soothing to pour except when you have to try to stick the landing and I don't don't really do a very good job of it usually as is this time and I had to do it again
once again this video was very long so i had to kind of speed it up so i only sped up the layering part but when i tilt at that part i did not speed up it's the pro original speed i don't know my just painting my pores just take longer especially when i'm getting started and prepping up my paints and stuff i'm never satisfied and i have to go in between and stuff and keep checking the consistencies and stuff and so it takes me a while so my videos tend to go long and i know even me i can you know i don't really like it if a video is so long i want to just like get to the especially to the pouring point and then the tilting of course cells right here. Remember those juicy cells? Big juice above the sheen here. Still not too crazy about the middle. Yep, you guessed it. I didn't like that center. So yep, I decided to re-pour. Layered up my cup again and I did a little ring pour here so that I could have a little bit more control as to where the paint went, went and then when I tilted it, it could blend in with the rest of the design.
realized uh, now that I should have probably started with the green and the gold and black instead of just going with gold and black with the first layer because when I had originally thought of this I thought maybe the gold and black would look better in the center but it didn't work out so I did it again here um, one thing I wanted to say was if anybody needs any skins please let me know you can contact me and I can send you a lot of skins I had saved a lot of the paint skins uh, thinking I might use it but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen so rather than it just being wasted and me throwing it away or just taking up space here in my in my studio I rather somebody make some use of it so if somebody needs it please let me know and I will send it to you in the USA though Now look at these close-ups, I mean, it's such a shiny and beautiful painting. I love the lines and the dimensions and the small cells here and there. It's one of my favorite ones that I've ever done. I'm going to name this the Flourishing Sanctuary because emerald is the green color and to me green represents life. And so when you have life, you're flourishing. And because of this island type look to it, it's a nice place for somebody to go and just relax. So thus, I named it a flourishing sanctuary. Once again, I want to thank you guys for joining me and watching my videos. I hope you come back again and I hope you're taking care of yourself. I am hoping you're keeping safe and may you always be blessed. Thank you.